This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. My next guest believes that 2011 could be the year of the dividend. And if you look back to 2010, you can see some of the reasons why. Many of the major dividend benchmarks actually outperformed their regular index counterparts on price. The Dow Jones U.S. Select Dividend Index, for example, just barely edged out the returns from the Dow Jones U.S. Index. Makes sense. Got a little dividend there. Now, add in the dividend income and you can see there was no contest, a nearly 13 percent return compared to just over 10 percent. Clearly, investors want dividend paying stocks. So here to explain why that trend is likely to continue. We have Cliff Remily. He helps manage seven billion dollars at Thornburg Investment Management. Cliff, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Hey, it's great to be here. Thank you. All right. So give me the thesis for dividend paying stocks in 2011. The 10 year Treasury right now, 3.4 percent. Is that the main reason? Uh, certainly not the main reason. There's uh, a number of reasons that I think dividends are great uh, long term and in the short term. Uh, from the long term perspective, which is one reason that we have the Thornburg Investment Income Builder Fund, is that we believe people need to have that current attractive dividend today to grow that income over time. And uh, dividend paying stocks will actually give you capital appreciation. So the, certainly the uh, low 10 year treasury and uh, almost negligible yield on the one year uh, are certainly benefits to having uh, dividend paying stocks in your portfolio. All right, and the dividend paying stocks, you want them to be dividend growers. You want companies that are going to be growing that dividend. Tell us about some of them as examples. I know Kraft is a company you've been following. Oh, absolutely. Uh, companies that can grow their dividends are ones that uh, usually have good business models, have growing earnings, and uh, good uh, balance sheets and uh, cash flows that can sustain that growth. Something like Kraft is surprising that it has uh, such a, an attractive dividend yield and such a low valuation, trades at less than uh, 13 and a half times earnings for this great stable consumer staple stock. Um, something that's interesting about Kraft in, in in a specific example is that they bought Cadbury, a $20 billion acquisition. And if you look at the market cap pre-Cadbury acquisition in today's market cap, there's no change whatsoever. It's amazing that the company is getting no value whatsoever for this huge acquisition. All right, now let's turn your attention to another company related to the food business. This is Cisco, not the networking giant. This is SY Cisco. Tell me about Cisco and why you like that company. Oh, Cisco is one of the highest quality names in our, in our portfolio. It's got a rock solid balance sheet with negligible debt, uh, most of it very short term in nature. Uh, the uh, business actually does well in recessions in the sense that it is able to acquire and pick up new businesses or uh, businesses that are flailing. And then when the recovery happens, they've increased their market share and they've expanded at a more rapid pace. And that's exactly what's happening in this scenario. Um, you know, restaurant. Uh, it, business is actually starting to pick up, which is a good thing. And they have a very long history of returning cash to shareholders, and they just had their investor day, and they've talked again about um, the dividends and the buybacks as ways to uh, return cash to, uh, to investors. All right, so it's Cisco, S-Y-S-C-O. You also like Kraft. Tell me about Hopewell. This is a toll road operator in China. That's yeah, we uh, scour the globe looking for some of the best ideas at Thornburg. And this is one that uh, came up. It's in China. It's a uh, toll road operator, Hopa Holdings. And uh, it has uh, expressways. And where they're located, which is, is fascinating, is right across from Hong Kong and near the most busy ports in the world. And so uh, with the 6% dividend yield and the very stable business nature of uh, a toll road operator, uh, and the increasing use of uh, automobiles in China, the toll rates as well as the volumes are actually increasing for the business. So it makes it very interesting from a long-term perspective. And this is what we're looking for in the fund. Uh, this, is, this meets everything that, uh, that we need. All right. I want to thank you very much, Cliff Remley, joining us from Thornburg Investment Management, talking about dividend-paying stocks.